Hi all, welcome to Ohm Institute and you all know that ISRO has announced the recruitment for scientist SC post okay, uh, with good number of vacancies like 113 for electronics, 160 for mechanical and 44 for computer science and it brings a good opportunity for all the engineering and gate aspirants as well. Okay, but uh, you know, uh, primarily preparing for this examination, you know that how the pattern of this examination is and why cutoff marks are always a question in the mind of the students because earlier, if you talk about earlier years, prior to 2023, there used to be only technical examination of 80 questions, okay, of 80 questions, but now, okay, 80 questions, uh, but now there is technical plus aptitude, okay, the duration of the exam is 120 minutes, 2 hours, that is 2 hours, and 95 questions are there. As I'm telling you earlier, 80 questions used to be there, but now 95 questions, 80 still from the technical part, that is known as the part A, okay, where you have negative marking as well, and 15 questions from the aptitude marks, okay, which will account to 20 marks, okay. So, you know, because you have only 120 minutes and 95 questions to solve, it is very common that, you know, it is very much expected that you may not be able to see every question in the exam hall as well. You can see most, but maybe not all. There is sectional cutoff as well. Okay, so before I tell you the cutoff, let me also tell you that your preparation has to be aligned with the sectional cutoff. You have to score 50% each in part A as well as part B. Okay, that means 40 marks in part A and 10 marks in part B minimum. Okay, and also you have to score 50% in the interview, that is 50 out of 100. On a whole, 60% you have to score. Okay, there are some relaxations for PWBD candidates. Okay, uh, that is persons with uh, benchmark disabilities. Okay, the 50% criteria comes to 40%. So, there is sectional cutoff for interview, there is sectional cutoff in written for each part A and part B. Okay, but again, what is more important is you have for the final selection, for the final merit list coming up, you are given 50% weightage to the written, 50% to the interview. That means... Written is not only qualifying in nature. Yes, if you qualify written, you go to the you know interview stage, but also the marks of written will matter in your final marks and in your final rank. Okay, so uh, that is why a written has to be uh, taken uh, again seriously. Okay, then only you go to interview and that particular mode you score in written where you have a bright chances because paper level is easy. Only thing is time constraint. Only problem is time and for that reason because students are confused okay 95 questions how many they should attempt so as to go through because unnecessarily just to maximize marks if you keep attempting and lose accuracy lose marks remember majorly technical questions are there with negative marking is also there in technical of course in aptitude they have not kept negative marking but maximum questions are technical 80 questions okay so if in, in spite of doing more if you keep doing wrong questions okay that also will not take you to a good position so it is very important to know what was the trend of 2023 because i'm telling you prior to 2023 uh, 80 questions used to be there okay out of that 80 also if i specifically take an example suppose electronics you know out of that 80 uh, then the paper used to be for 240 marks 80 into 3 every question used to be for 3 marks earlier okay out of 240 you know Cutoffs would be sometimes around 110, 120, but even it has dropped up to the level of 90. Okay, dropped up to the level of 90. So, precisely approx 40 to 50 percent. Okay, nine very, very many times you have seen in ISRO electronics the cutoff being around 90, 95 out of 240. I am telling okay, out of 240. So, roughly 40 to 50 percent range, sometime below 40 percent also. Okay, but yeah, 40 to 50 percent range is the cutoff. Okay, now what happened in because this aptitude portion is introduced from 2023 in 2025 also they have continued the same pattern. Okay, so what was the cutoff 2023? Let's now go to the data. Okay, let me also tell you as I told you before, this is not the cutoff, but this is the minimum marks to be called for interview as per this rule mentioned. This rule clearly says that like I mentioned that there are 113 vacancies electronics. Na? Okay, 113 vacancies are there. Okay, but to... But to be finally selected, you should have a minimum aggregate of 60%. Okay, so total, total paper is 100% marks. Okay, suppose only 100 students got above 60. Okay, what does it mean? Only 100 will be selected. 30 posts remain unfilled. That is what this would ideally mean. Okay, on the other hand, suppose 120 students got above 60. Then only 113 will be selected. There are no more than 113 unless and until they change the vacancies. But as of now... This is what this particular thing means, okay? So, what they have done in, in the cutoff paper, it, it's, a, it's a data officially available on the ISRO website also. I've taken it directly from the ISRO website. Okay, you go back and search the 2023 notification there. They have written, also they have written total marks considered for evaluation. Like electronics 97, it was a 100 marks paper. What happened? Three questions in technical, okay, were 
Okay, see, sometimes it will happen. Some questions went wrong. What gate will do? Gate will announce it as marks to all. Gate will still be a 100 marks paper. If the question was wrong, it is awarded free marks to all. But here they will remove that question. So three questions were removed and the paper were uh, paper out of 97. For mechanical, one question removed, the paper became 99 marks paper. And for computer science, six questions had to be removed. And the paper was then a 94 marks paper. Okay, so according to that 50% criteria, out of out of technical, so technical is 77, 38.5 minimum you have to score and aptitude is 20, 10 you have to minimum score, then only you are called up for interview. Okay, suppose you scored bright in technical, suppose you got 60 marks, but you discarded aptitude, you got only 8 marks, you are not considered, although your marks is 68, okay, you are not considered. I'll tell you 68 is much in the cutoff range, cutoff range for electronics somewhere around 50. Okay, but if you score 60 plus 8, you are not considered for qualification. On the other hand, in aptitude, so score, suppose you scored full, you are bright, you got 20, but here you scored only 35. 35 plus 20 is also 55. You will be as per above the cutoff marks, but still not considered for interview because this is the minimum marks to be called for interview as per the 50% rule I mentioned. Okay, as per the 50% rule I mentioned. This is the same data for PWBD because 40% criteria was there. Same data has been uh, mentioned accordingly. So, I hope you have got this idea. Now, coming to the official cutoff. Okay, the official cutoff marks. This is what is the cutoff marks. Okay, so electronics as I told you was 97 marks paper after the corrections made in the paper. Okay, the cutoff. Okay, for the regular unreserved, the other than PWBD candidates was 49. I told you approx 50. For PWBD, it was 52. Okay, coming to mechanical, it was 55. And for uh, PWBD, it was 44. For computer science, the paper was 94 marks paper. Cutoff was 51.37. And for PWBD, it is 45. Okay, so approximately 50% to 55% Okay, uh, was the trend, uh, you can say, uh, last year. Okay, was the trend, you can say, last year, dear. Uh, so, this year, now electronics, if you talk about 2023, the vacancies were 90. Okay, mechanical in 2023, the vacancies were 163. This year, 160, it's almost similar. Computer science in 2023, I remember 47. This year, it is 44. Okay, this year, 44. Mechanical, 160. And electronics, it has increased. A quite number, 23 more. Okay, because of the increase in vacancies, again, there may be a drop in the cutoff. Again, it depends on the level of the paper. But even if I assume similar level of paper, okay, there will be drop in cutoff. If there is a similar level of, level of paper, there will be a drop in the cutoff because of uh, more number of vacancies. Okay, they will call up the interview. They will call up the candidates for interview in the ratio 1 is to 5. Okay, so last year also it was 1 is to 5. Last year they had to call 450 candidates for interview. Okay, 90 vacancies means 450. This time they have to call how much? 565. So, more than 100 uh, aspirants more. So, definitely cutoff will go down if, if paper level remains to be similar. Okay, so now this is clearly, this is very clear that if the cutoff is 50%, Okay, it's not that in the hunger or in the need to solve more questions, you become inaccurate and you lose with, with, the, uh, with the respect to negative marks. No. Okay. Uh, also, there are a lot many subjects, uh, you know, in uh, ISRO, especially in electronics, which are other than GATE. Okay. As I've shown you in the other videos, the tentative syllabus I have uh, discussed. Okay. They, they don't officially mention the syllabus. Although for mechanical and computer science, it is more or less GATE syllabus. Okay, but for electronics, there are few other subjects like I mentioned, advanced communication, microwave engineering, material science, measurement. Okay, but again, I repeat in this video also, it is not necessary for you to actually go through those subjects because even if you study your gate subjects thoroughly, okay, signals, control, network, digital, EDC, analog, electromagnetics, communication systems, mathematics, you will be easily able to go much above this particular cutoff. Okay, also... Also, out of the 80 questions, out of the 80 questions that you have in the technical, right, correct, na? 80 questions you have in the technical, out of that 80 questions, let me tell you, 60 to 70, 60 to 70 is only from your gate subjects. That is what the previous year, not only previous year, previous many years cut off, I have made a video for you. Okay, it clearly shows 60 to 70 questions are only out of that. Okay, so if you target accuracy there, Okay, see 70 questions suppose comes up from gate syllabus, if you are able to score 50-55 there itself and if you are able to score, aptitude will be, you know, uh, achievable. If you are able to score some 10-15 marks in aptitude, you are there till 70 marks, you are there in the topper zone actually. Okay, the cutoff is around 50 but you can easily target up to 70 only with the help of gate subjects plus aptitude. Okay, okay, topper zone I told you, see the topper's mark. Okay, because I told you, see why it is important to know the topper's mark because... 
for the final selection written marks will also matter the more you marks you get the, the better is your chances of the final selection okay even if interview is slight up and down okay so uh, electronics at topest marks was 76 for mechanical it was 84 you can call it as and for computer science it was 80 again this all depends on level of paper but let me tell you that many questions whatever the branch could be you will find gate questions directly copied especially one marker okay right even if not copied most of the questions are easier in level but because of timing constraint i'm again telling you although it is easy but you see there are almost one minute per question you have 95 questions 120 minutes okay just it's a, it's a very small fraction one minute 1.25 roughly if you say okay roughly if you say but but uh, you know uh, to be honest uh, you know even the question may be easy but see exam time exam pressure okay you will read a question you will try to analyze you have pressure of timing uh, getting over quickly and quickly okay so easily you know even if it is an easy question it will almost take one hour one minute on an average okay minute on an average okay you know to just go through and understand the question of course some may be direct theory okay this statement you have to tick mark okay some questions will be 20 30 seconds but some questions although easy will still take up two minutes okay some may even take up three minutes although being easy so you know it is okay that you know as i told you that out of the gate syllabus only you can expect say out of 80 technical questions 60 to 70 okay that's enough to get a good uh, marks in written okay now we don't know when the exam is it could be next two three months or it could be down the year in november december also so keep revising your gate syllabus if you then uh, exam is late and if you have time then you can study extra subjects now who is stopping you but the first target is complete up your gate syllabus you will be done with the cutoff that is what the reason of making this separate video for cutoff okay is to tell you that target thoroughly on your gate notes and solve gate and isro pyq especially gate one mark pyq gate one mark pyq isro pyq is compulsory if you have more time solve engineering services pyqs okay right see toppers mark Mechanical, of course, they, they, that particular year competition was more because uh, uh, of huge number of vacancies. So, you know, somebody going to 84, not a big thing. Okay, so that's okay. Okay, even so, even in gate, people are going 90 plus. What is there in ISRO? Okay, see, for a paper like ISRO level, if timing is like gate exam, na, people can score full also. Or if not full, 99, 98%. But I'm again telling that if you see the level of paper and if you are given timing like gate exam, you'll be easily able to many of the students, not only one or two, many can touch 95, 94 out of 97, but timing is less. So they also could not encounter many questions. For that reason, this is the mark. So I'm telling you, discard the extra subjects, focus fully on the gate subjects. Okay, if the exam is late and if you have time left, go for the extra subjects. But right now, target only gate subjects. Okay, thorough notes revision, gate 1 mark PYQ, ISRO PYQs, this much is compulsory. Okay, then if you have time, ESC PYQs. Gate 2 mark PYQs also you can solve, but if you have some, you know, very difficult gate 2 mark PYQ, at least that you discard. Lengthy and uh, difficult because some gate 2 mark PYQs are also naturally easy only. Okay, so I uh, hope this video will give you an information on, uh, you know, how much you have to target. Okay, to get the uh, to get a good marks in written, so as you qualify also for interview, and so as that good marks of written will help you in the final selection because final selection is based on fifty percent written marks also. Thank you. Stay safe. Subscribe to Home Institute to attend or uh, not to I'll say rather not to miss any such useful information. You should be subscribed to the Home Institute YouTube channel. Thank you.